Yo, I would like to show you how you can actually run Kubernetes on DigitalOcean and um, as well as having TLS termination for your applications. So first, first things first, we have to create the Kubernetes cluster. Um, this might take some time, so I'm going to skip as we actually have it running. I'm going to choose San Francisco and I'm going to rename this whole Friday to be $20. So I'm going to rename the cluster to Friday, Kubernetes Friday and it. Now while we wait, let me first explain the, the application that we are actually going to run. So it's a simple application by HashiCorp, it's just for testing things out. And the idea is that we have a simple HTTP application that is able to say whatever we want, like hello world. Um, this will run and localhost This is the this is the application running. So that's it. Um, yeah. So what I have here is right now there is no nothing related to TLS or anything. Um, I have two applications, which is essentially that same application, but what changes is the text. Like here it says hello from app one, and here it says hello from app two. Um, these are Kubernetes deployment objects, just as our regular applications would be. This is where I specify the images, the container names, and things like that, how many replicas you want, and stuff like that. And Here's the service. So this is actually what we are going to reference um, in the ingress, which is I'm going to talk about it soon. Um, so this is not actually going to become a load balancer on DigitalOcean as default um, services. This is just a service, an internal service inside the Kubernetes cluster. So we are mapping in port 80 on this service to port six, uh, five, six, seven, eight in the container. And the same goes for app one, same thing, just different name and different selectors and different text. Okay. Um, next, we have the ingress that I've been talking about. So here's where you actually specify which domains you want. It can be a domain or it can actually be just a path. You can could have like service to pointing to a different Kubernetes application and things like that. So yeah, this is up to uh, our application definition. And there is some other stuff here related to setting up, setting things up, but we will see what we need a bit. Um, I'm going to pause for a bit while it's actually creating the cluster. So apparently the cluster is created now. So yeah, I have a cluster. Um, this is the amount of resources that I've, I have available. This is summing all the nodes that I have created. Nodes are essentially the droplets. So these are my droplets and all that. So if you go here, you can see the droplets. And that's everything that I have created on um, Kubernetes or DigitalOcean, nothing else. Like if I go, for instance, networking, load balancer, there's nothing here. 
it's just the Kubernetes cluster and the droplets, which represents the node. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my local environment with uh, Kubernetes. So I'm going to use DOCTL for that. Um, I have already authenticated my local CLI with um, using my DigitalOcean token. So if I list, is it clusters or cluster? Okay. I can see this here and um, I'm going to save my configuration locally. So this means that now my kubectl is connected. So I can actually get the nodes. Like I'm literally interacting with um, the Kubernetes uh, cluster here. So yeah, let's first things first. Let's install Helm. Um, Helm is a some kind of package manager for Kubernetes. Um, I have some make tasks here which are helpful. So. Yeah, I just have to wait a bit. Okay, it was created successfully. Um, this is just so we can actually install CertBot. So first, before we actually talk about cert, CertBot and let's encrypt, let's install Ingress. Ingress, as I said, is what's going to um, receive the incoming HTTP requests via uh, digital version load balancer and it will forward the requests to our Kubernetes clusters. So now that we have ingress available, we can actually deploy and deploy is well, apply the manifests in our application. So after installing ingress, once we deploy, the ingress object is going to get its own load balancer. So we can see that by checking the networking tab, load balancers, and there's, there is one per being provisioned here. Um, and we are going to have to wait for it to finish. So I'll return when it, once it's finished. Now that we got the now that we got the load balancer um, created, we can actually uh, register the domain. So I have my own domain here, and that's what I'm going to use for the example. So app one is going to point here. So app one dot dot com. Uh, app two same. And everything is working. Kubectl get pods. I can see all the applications running. So yeah, applications are running and everything. So if I open a cognito f one dot sm, I should see hello from yeah, hello from f two. Okay, this is what I wanted, but as you can see, it's not using uh, any SSL certificate yet. Uh, now it comes the second part. Okay, now we have to install Cert Manager. Cert Manager is what's going to we are going to use to issue the certificates with Let's Encrypt. Um, the idea is that we install it and every time our ingress, we are going to configure the domains here and every time we do that, a uh, new uh, certificate is going to be issued automatically with Let's Encrypt. And yeah, okay, we're working. Now we can actually each create the issuers. Issuers are, will be like Kubernetes objects or services that they're going to create. 
Oh yeah, it's it's probably still going on. Yeah, okay. So it worked and I can see it like kubectl describe ingress. All right. Everything seems to be working fine. Now I'm going to register the TLS certificates. Um, how are we going to do that? First, let's go to this branch and I'm going to show the differences. Uh, this is what maybe what changes. Um, in our main dot ingress, no, main ingress, we actually have this new section here. This is telling that this is actually going to use cert manager and it's using the let's encrypt um, staging certificate issuer. Um, this is mainly for testing if everything is working before you actually issue a production certificate. So yeah, we are going to use that for now. And here we specify the TLS configuration. So we are mapping, we are actually issuing certificates for these domains and it's going to be saved under this secret. So Kubernetes will know how to actually operate this. And with that, with these changes, we can actually deploy now. Okay, so everything seems to be configured and if we get described numerous, uh, yeah, okay. Now we can see that a new certificate was created. And if we actually describe certificate, we can see that uh, there is a, there is a, a certificate from Let's Encrypt staging, and it's specifying these domains, and it was generated, and certificate was su successfully issued. So this means that if we act now access f one dot domain, we should see it in yeah, this is work already working, but since this is using the staging uh, issuer, it's not secure. So what we are going to use now is uh, we are going to switch to production and Yeah, the difference is now that we, our staging was pointing to Acme staging on Let's Encrypt and our production is actually pointing to the production API. So, and our main ingress is this, this is the only change that we do. Like we change the issuer to be the production one and we change the secrets to be the production secrets. And then we make a deploy, a new deploy. Um, now, if we check the certificate, we should see this is the staging certificate and this is the production one. The production one is still being um, issued. You can see that it's not issued yet. So we have to wait a bit. Yeah, okay, production was already issued. So this means that if we access app one dot Tony, we should see, yes, now we see everything secure, everything's correct. App two dot Tony. Yep, also correct. Okay, that's good. Um, now let's register an, I don't know, app. Why not? Uh, wait, this F four is also pointing there. Um, let's create a new application. Let's deploy a new application.
So I'm creating a new application. I have three manifests. I'm creating the domains in the TLS spec and also registering the new uh, domain on Ingress. Uh, the, well, I changed this to the application for right, so let's do that. Yeah, F4, 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 okay. F4. Yeah, nice. Okay, everything seems to be working. Um, what I'm going to do now is make a new deploy. And if I QCTL, QCTL describe certificate, I should see that a new certificate is being issued. Um, it's going to be, uh, I'm adding the new domain there. So, like, if we access now, at one of Tony, uh, uh, yeah, okay. So it's probably already issued. Um, okay, and four. Yeah, I forgot to change the text, but yeah, it's every, everything is working. So all applications are deployed, and all that I have three applications running in this Kubernetes cluster. Um, with automatic renewal certificates and everything already automated. And only a single load bouncer is registered. So, yeah, costs are relatively uh, lower compared to each application having its own, having its own uh, droplet, its own load bouncer and things like that. So. Yeah, that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed it.